Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to make a really quick video talking about the trailer for The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The trailer is not by Fifth, uh, by Rick Yancey. It's the book-to-movie adaptation from the book, The Fifth Wave, and it's coming out in January 2016, and the trailer was just released. You can't find it anywhere on YouTube yet. I'm going to try and link it down in the description, but don't count on me for that because it's going to be kind of hard to find. I just kind of found out about it, and I think it might have even been out for a couple days. Just nobody really knows about it, and it's not really been widely announced. So I'm just going to discuss what I thought about it, and yeah, let's get started. Now I'm just going to say something that might shock some people. I wasn't a huge fan of the Fifth Wave series in general. I am excited for the last book, The Last Star, coming out in May 2016, but it's just it's a series I am iffy about. I think I like it more than dislike it, but I don't love it. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. I think I had so much hype going into it that um, I it kind of was below my expectations. And um, Rick Yancey is very metaphorical, and so I don't really I'm, I'm not very good at catching me simple metaphors. So um, that might be one of the reasons. I'm definitely gonna reread these before the last star comes out. Uh, and maybe I'll like them more, and I do like these books, but I don't love them. So, if I say anything negative or semi-negative about this trailer, just know that I still like the book, and I do really want this movie to do well. I don't want this to be a bad movie just for the sake of saying, oh, it's a book's movie adaptation, it'll never be as good as a book, which I think is true, but I still want this movie to succeed. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Don't worry, this video will not have any spoilers for the book or the series, anything like that. Uh, this is just going to be my opinion on what I think I like and what I don't like about the trailer. So, let's get started. I think I said that twice, but that's okay. So, the first thing that I noticed in the trailer, the opening scene is basically the opening scene of the book, kind of, uh... It is when Cassie, the main character, played by played by Chloe Grace, bleh, bleh, played by Chloe Grace Moretz, goes into an abandoned gas station looking for water, and she walks down this narrow hallway and she sees um, this guy, a wounded dude, just laying on the ground with a gun pointed at her, and that that oh man, whenever she walked down that uh, that uh, hallway, that's exactly how I pictured it would be in the book. Like, that's shot for shot what I thought it would be in the book. And that's what I really wanted them to get right in the book was, I mean, in the movie adaptation, is that the hallway scene, because that's a really important scene for Cassie. And it was r done really, really well, it looked like, in the movie. Uh, it's just a lot like what I thought it would be when I read the book. And so I really liked that part of the trailer. That's probably my favorite part of the trailer. My biggest complaint with not necessarily the trailer, but the movie in general, is the person that they cast to play Evan. Now, I have not seen him in anything else. Um, he just... Art, if I remember correctly, Evan is supposed to be like 17 years old in the book, or around that age, probably older, probably like 19 or something, 1920. But he's not supposed to look like he's almost 30 years old. And this guy that they got to play him, I don't know his name. But he looks like he's 30 years old, and I don't think they did a very good job with the casting. I still have a lot of faith in his acting abilities, but just based off of what I see, he is not the Evan that I pictured. Now, that's the complete opposite with Ben. Ben is played by... I don't know his name, but he was from... Uh, he was in Jurassic World. He was one of the kids in Jurassic World. And I think he's a good actor. I think he's a really good pick for Ben. And that's really my biggest, like, praise for this movie or whatever, besides the hallway scene, is that they cast Ben really well. That's, uh, yeah, that's probably my, like, the thing I was most happy about was seeing that he was cast as Ben, because I think he looks the part as well as he can act the part. Now, with Chloe, Chloe Grace Moretz, I don't think I would have picked her, but I think she is a good pick. Because, uh, Cassie is like Katniss in the way that she's not happy a lot, which is understandable if you've read the book. A lot of bad stuff has happened to her. She doesn't have much left after the aliens have invaded. And, um, 
Yeah, she's kind of uh, weird about that. She's not really... She's kind of like Katniss in the way that she doesn't really reach out to people or anything. People have to reach out to her, and she has to be able to accept them, which is fine. And I think Chloe Grace... Her, her name is so hard to say. I think Chloe Grace Moretz is going to do a really good job as Cassie, but I don't think I would have cast her. But now that I see her cast as Cassie, I think she's a really good pick. Another thing I have a complaint about in the trailer, and I guess this is going to be for the movie in general, is the mothership. The way the mothership looks, it's so big and is so, not cheesy looking, but it looks really cliche. It looks like every alien ship ever. Like every alien mothership that we've ever seen in any movie. It's just, I'll show you a picture, but it's just, I don't know. It's not what I pictured from the book. As I pictured it in the book, it was something that was in the distance, almost like the moon. Like, it's not something that stuck out that you couldn't walk outside without noticing, but if you looked for it, you would be able to find it. I didn't imagine it to be something this big that basically just looks like a giant spaceship hovering right over the Earth because it's supposed to be outside of our atmosphere. It's not supposed to be inside of our atmosphere. It's not actually in the sky. It's out in outer space orbiting the Earth. And so it wouldn't look that big unless it was really huge. And so that's probably my biggest complaint with it. Okay, so my sister just came in while I was filming. Come here. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was... Okay. I also like that they kept saying the others. If you don't know in the book, they actually call the aliens the others. And, um... I like that they never said the word alien. I hope they don't really ever say the word alien in this movie. I hope they just call them the others because that's how it is. And that's how it is in the book. And so I hope they keep that because that's something that was really unique about the book is they never really said alien a lot. And never in like actual speech, maybe in Cassie's mind, but they never actually spoke the words alien. I don't recall. So I hope that they keep that because... That was something that was not cliche, was the fact that they called them the others and not aliens. So that is it. Again, I will try to leave the link in the description. Don't count on me for that because, like I said, I might not be able to find it because it's on some weird website that I don't even know if I'll be able to find. I don't know why it's not on YouTube if it's on that website. It's high def on that website. It's not like it's some bootleg version that someone recorded with their phone. So I don't know why it wouldn't be on YouTube. So, yeah, I will try and leave a link to that in the description. So I will see you guys the next time that I see you. Caw -caw!